Hi, I'm Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to the Win Las Vegas. Yes, I'm dressed up because we're at the Win. So I'm going to give you a tour of the Win Casino, the bars, the restaurants, the pool. Uh, we're also going to see the shops, the fitness center, the spa salon. My brother's going to explain how he got a free $1,000 a night room on a Saturday night here at the Win. And I'm going to tell you the time I was walking around the Win and I ran into Steve Win, who built this casino, and what my conversation was like with him, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, let's check out the Win Las Vegas. The Win Las Vegas, also referred to as the Win, is a luxury resort and casino on the side of the Old Desert Inn Hotel. The $2.7 billion resort covers 215 acres. The 614-foot high hotel has 45 floors with over 2,700 rooms, ranging in size from 640 square feet to villas at over 3,200 square feet. Together with its adjacent sister property, Encore, the entire Wynn Resort complex has a total of 4,748 rooms, making it the world's seventh largest hotel. Now, I've always rated the Wynn as the number two Las Vegas casino behind the Bellagio, and you can see the reasons why in my Bellagio video. But I also think that the Wynn has the most beautiful interior of any Las Vegas casino. In fact, the resort is named in the Condé Nast Traveler Gold List as one of the, quote, top hotels in the world, end quote. On the inside, there is one word that explains why, color, as you can see from this beautiful carousel. Actually, there are three words that describe why the Wynn is so beautiful on the inside the color red. You'll see the color red everywhere, and it really helps create the wind's look of elegance and luxury. Here in the atrium, this pathway is always lit up like a Christmas tree. It leads to one of the wind's bars called the Overlook Lounge. When we were there, it was pretty dark inside, which is great if you're having an affair. I mean, if you want some privacy. In the other direction, if you follow the pathway, you come to the smiling King Bear of Spain. Right next to the luxurious Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry store is a 2020 McLaren Elva, which reminds me that the Wynn was the first Vegas casino to feature a car dealership. The lobby area is also quite colorful, and it leads you outside to the Lake of Dreams. Here you can see the SW Steakhouse restaurant where you get a great view of the free nighttime Lake of Dreams show. You can also see the Lake of Dreams show by going through that door on the right onto a balcony or by going down the escalator where you'll see the bar parasol. We decided to see the Lake of Dreams show from the outdoor bar aft. We're here at aft bar and I ordered a Bacardi and Coke. And I'm curious what the price is. But in front of us is the Lake of Dreams. And there's a show that starts every night at 7 p.m. every 30 minutes. Here are clips from not one, not two, not three, but four Lake of Dreams shows. Now before we see more of the beautiful Wynn Casino, I'd like to thank my sponsor, AlertBot. AlertBot is a website monitoring service that gives you peace of mind while you travel. If your website crashes or your customers have trouble accessing your pages, AlertBot will notify you of the issue so you can quickly fix the problem. I use them for my own websites. AlertBot's clients include many top companies, including IBM, Sony, Disney, Chrysler, Travelocity, and MGM Resorts to name a few so you know you're in good hands. You can try this service for 14 days free by going to their website, alertbot.com. There's a link in the video description below. If you sign up for a monthly or annual plan with them, use my promo code, andysawesome 20 to save 20%. Now let's check out the casino. For decades, my game in Vegas was blackjack, and I did fairly well playing basic strategy, but the casinos keep changing the rules and increasing their minimum bets, so I switched to video poker. 
On this trip, I wanted to get back to my roots. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any $15 minimum blackjack tables. I used to play the $25 blackjack tables here, and that seems to be the minimum bet you can make. Maybe early in the morning they have $15 tables, but I never saw any. They have $100 blackjack tables, some $200 tables, a couple of $300 tables, and even a $500 table. No thank you. I did play some video poker, which I like to call slow death. But we're at a Chinese restaurant at the Wynn, Las Vegas. My brother and I are here at Red 8. Uh, this is not one of the high-end restaurants, but it's pretty nice. So we got the spring rolls, and they are very good. Very happy with them. Okay, so I ordered the cashew chicken, which comes with vegetables. I also ordered some white rice. You have to order that separately. Brad, are you happy with your meal? Very good. What, do you, what did you get? Sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken. Now, we're gonna tell you the prices. Brad says the spring rolls are eleven eighty eight. Cashew chicken, twenty three eighty eight, which no, is reasonable. Eight. Eight's a lucky number. Eight's a lucky number in Chinese. Steamed jasmine rice. Three eighty eight. Not bad. I had uh, sweet and sour chicken for twenty one eighty eight. My lemonade was seven fifty. Now, I have to be honest. The only thing I did not like about this meal was the lemonade. Considering we're at the Wynn, which is uh, one of the most expensive hotels in Vegas, I thought the prices were pretty reasonable. We had more casual dining the next night at La Cave. There are four areas you can eat in. The cellar, the dining room, a pool view patio, and the front bar area where we ate. My brother and I were joined by our Las Vegas cousin for dinner, but he didn't want to be filmed because he's wanted in several states. We started with a chicken flatbread, which was outstanding. The waitress recommended that we order more than one entree since the portions were small. I wouldn't exactly say they were small, but I ordered the shrimp, which was really good, and the wild salmon, which was okay, because it was more of a salmon steak, which is not what I expected, and I personally don't like my salmon prepared that way. The desserts were cheesecake and beignets, which were excellent. I would definitely eat here again. My brother and I had breakfast at Jardin, which has a nice ambiance, and we ordered the strawberry French toast and the pancakes, which were great. Other casual dining venues include the buffet, the Terrace Point Cafe, Allegro, and Charlie's Sports Bar, where the Win Race and Sportsbook is located. All right, this is the sports book at the Wynn. This is Charlie's Bar with a lot of liquor. And this is Charlie's Restaurant. For fine dining, you have several choices, including SW Steakhouse and Lakeside by Lake of Dreams, Wing Lei, the first Chinese restaurant in the U.S. to earn a Michelin star, Delilah, which is at the end of the hall, and Mizumi. So we're here at the Wind Pool in Las Vegas, and it's a really cool layout. So there's a very long, narrow pool that goes from one into another. On each side is a circular pool, and it's not too big, not too big. But if you want to spend time with other people, you can lay out by the circular pools. If not, uh, you can lay out on the side by the long pool. So to your left is another pool on the second floor. That is the Tower Suites pool. That's exclusive for those staying at the Tower Suites. And the other side is the European pool, translation, topless pool. However, if I film there, I end up in prison, so I'm not gonna go there. If you want a party atmosphere, the Encore has the Encore Beach Club, which is, I believe, the daytime club. And that's a happening pool scene if you want some action. So that is the uh, wind pool, a uh, very nice pool. Uh, lots of cabanas around, very expensive. I hope you enjoy the tour. And it's on to the rest of the wind. The wind features several big name performers at the Encore Theater. Check out the wind website for show dates and ticket sales.
Awakening is the wind's newest show, and it cost $120 million to produce. It's about a heroine and her two fellow travelers who restore beauty and bring love to the world. The show combines myth and magic and is narrated by Anthony Hopkins. Reviews so far have been okay, but not great. The Excess Nightclub, which is officially part of Encore, opened in December 2008. It occupies 40,000 square feet of space both inside and out. We walked over to the entrance on a Saturday night and I was surprised that about three quarters of the people in line were male when the doors opened. For those of you who have been inside, is this the typical male to female ratio? Now before I give you a tour of our $1,000 a night room, let me tell you about the time when I met Steve Wynn in the Wynn Casino. I was here, staying here. I walked around the casino. Was kind of, I think it was on the outskirts of the casino itself. And I see Steve Wynn. And, you know, he's the billionaire who built this casino. So he was with a colleague of his. I just went up to him and I said, Mr. Wynn, you build the best casinos in Las Vegas. So he kind of smiled, shook my hand. He asked me for my name. I said, Andy Teach. He goes, where are you staying? I said, I'm staying here. So I thought he's gonna comp me at least, comp my room. You know, I'm gonna have free room. But uh, no, he didn't do that. But I meant what I said, because he built three of my favorite all-time casinos in Las Vegas. Mirage, Bellagio, and The Wynn. Now he also built the Encore, which is the sister property to The Wynn, and he also built Treasure Island. Okay, Treasure Island is not high on my list, but those other three are. And Steve Wynn, along with, I would say, Kirk Kikorian, and Sheldon Adelson are really responsible for the look of modern Vegas. You know, the Mirage was 1989. That was the first mega resort built on the Vegas Strip. And that was Steve Wynn. In terms of Vegas, the look that we have today, we owe a lot to him. So it was kind of cool to meet him. You know, he's a billionaire. I don't get to meet too many billionaires. Right, welcome to my room at the Wynn. And we're gonna start with the view. Normally I get a roof view in Las Vegas. Let's see what we got. Yep, yeah, we got a roof view. But we also got a golf course view. Look at that golf course. That is green, green, green. It costs about $500 for green fees to play 18 holes. 500 bucks for one day. So that money obviously goes to the care of getting that golf course green as it is. Beautiful golf course. The Desert Inn used to be here. And I'm not sure if that's the same golf course that the Desert Inn had many years ago or not, but it's beautiful. Now you can also see down here, the pool of the wind, or part of it. And on the other side, you can see the pool for the Encore. You can also see, I think, Excess Nightclub is down there somewhere. And there's also the Encore Beach Club. So it's a very nice room, two beds, you know, nice size. But let's talk about the uh, mini bar. Uh, not even gonna bother opening it, because that will cost a mega box. If you go in the closet, we have an iron, ironing board, and a safe. The safe is a little narrow for me because I have a lot of equipment, but it's nice to have a safe. <laughs> 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 Bathroom is very nice. I like the fact that the shower has a place to sit if you need to. You have a bath separately, a little color. Plenty of room to put your stuff over here. A couple of vanity mirrors. And we have a separate uh, room for the toilet. Uh, the other thing is everything here is controlled from here. You can change the lights to open and close the drapes, change the temperature, set the alarm, put on the do not disturb light or the makeup room light. There are places here to plug in your phone or other things, other electronics. I think every casino in Vegas has a Samsung TV in the room. I was gonna interview my brother, who's gonna tell us how he got this $1,000 a night room on a Saturday night for free. However, my brother has driven my car to the urgent care. He's got an ear infection. I would have driven him, but filming takes priority over family, sorry. As I drove my brother to the airport, he tells us how he got our $1,000 Saturday night room for free, but one of us, it had to be him, accidentally hit the time-lapse button on my GoPro, and time-lapse does not have sound. Fortunately, I followed up with him. However, 
The way he got this free room is so complicated and convoluted, and hopefully legal, I decided that rather than tell you what he did, I would include his explanation in the video description. As we see the fitness center, salon, convention center, and upscale shops in the Wynn Esplanade, here is my summary of our stay at the Wynn. The Wynn Las Vegas has always been one of my top two Las Vegas hotel casinos. It epitomizes luxury, class, and elegance. Although in my opinion the Bellagio is number one, due to its mid-strip location, fountains, lobby, and conservatory, I do think the Wynn has the most beautiful interior of any Las Vegas casino. As I mentioned, there is so much color everywhere and it really helps create the look of luxury the Wynn is known for. The Wynn is located on the North Strip, so it's harder to walk to as many casinos as you can from Mid Strip. Also, we stayed at a $1,000 a night room, but was it worth $1,000 a night for the room itself? It was not. The room is really nice with a great view, but not $1,000 a night nice. The room is not stunning as you would expect from spending $1,000 a night, but you are paying more for the win experience than for the room itself. I recommend staying here on a Saturday night only when the room is under $500 a night. The Lake of Dreams show is visually and musically entertaining, and it's great to see it from the F bar, but the show is not that long. The food and ambiance at the Wynn was pretty good at the casual restaurants we ate at. The pool area is beautiful, and if you're a golfer, you'll love playing at the very green Wynn golf course, although you might not love paying $500 for the privilege of playing there. The Wynn is one of the few remaining casinos with free parking, which is great if you can find a parking spot there, which is not always easy. The staff at the Wynn couldn't be nicer, whether it be in the restaurants, by the pool, or in the salon. Whether it's your first Las Vegas visit or your 10th, the Wynn should be high on your list of places to explore. As always, the Wynn gets a big two thumbs up from Andy's Awesome Adventures.